Oh, f I forgot about this. Listen to this music. This is such Kumite music. Having a giant giant throw giant throwdown giant throwdown in a Kumite room. Right, so we gotta fight the Muay Thai guys. Their army of these, including this difficult one. He's called he's called something funny. Less scary than a raven or a condor. What is he called? A pheasant, that's right. But usually it's the guys in... Uh, the fighting guys who'd go for, like, innocent names who you'd be a bit more scared of. They have less to prove, you know? Condor is a big show-off here, but a uh, freaking pheasant? You know he means trouble. Oh, wow, they can stop my special? Okay. Man, I was celebrating. I was like, I'm done with the dojo, but like, I forgot this whole fight. But you know, that's fine, because this is actually really cool fighting this army of Muay Thai guys. So like, I don't actually mind this part. It's those waves of mooks earlier that are like really exhausting. There we go. No big reward at the end? Okay. Maybe you have to do it quick or something to get something. Ah oh, well. Sun sets upon Wood Oak City as we come on the rooftop, this lovely garden. Time to get those answers we need about the Y Twins, eh? Okay, two lives. I think I can do this. Holy shit. Look at this guy. It's Shiva! Shiva of the East? More like Shiva of the Deceased. Ah, uh, this is a great fight. I love it. Wow, he's fast. I, although, I, I weirdly, I remember being like, this isn't as tough as uh, Barbon. Even though, check his shit out. He is scary with his stuff, and he's got recovers on falls. Oh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. So Shiva is from, I think he's from Streets of Rage 3, I think. He's a boss character there. He's a mercenary of Mr. X's, but I, he's also unlockable as a playable character, as far as I recall. God, it's Shadow Shiva! I forgot. I, like, I, of course I knew he has a phase two, but I completely forgot what he does for phase two. Can we destroy his shadows? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Let's just focus on the real deal. Man, Blaze versus Shiva. What a great, like, duel. Both of these, like, high flyers. Martial arts dudes. It doesn't look like I can hurt his uh, shadow clone, so we'll just... Let that be. Eat it, Shiva. Wow! With that crane kick. Oh, with that counter. Oh, okay, now I, I was doing okay, but now I'm letting him school me quite a bit. Ugh. No, you don't. Damn. All right, couldn't do it. I, I was gonna be like, oh my God, I'm gonna do it on one life, but I quite, couldn't quite do it. Look, one combo and then he was done. Damn, I choked at the end there. That's gonna sting a little, but hey, we beat him. Hell yeah. And we got that extra points from saving that star. Not that I care super much about that, but. Hmm, maybe I have to rethink about, is Axel my least favorite or Blaze? I was saying Blaze was my least favorite, but I have to say that high-flying fight there was pretty satisfying. Axel is so kind of slow, and his he has short range on so many of his moves. Uh, Floyd is also slow, but with his crazy grapples, I, I enjoy playing as him, so uh, I don't know. Wow! I unlocked another... Wow, all the SOR1 characters unlocked. That means I got original Blaze unlocked. Good shit. There she is. Old school Blaze. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I'm not going to play as these guys, like I said. But Let's go again as Cherry on the next level, which I think this is my favorite boss. It's hard to pick a favorite boss in this game. So many great boss fights. That Shiva fight was amazing. But this one's also high there, so let's go with Cherry. I'll... This level is also going to be pretty easy. I, I shouldn't say that out loud. Why the why the heck am I suddenly cock strutting like this? But uh, 
I want to say that this is going to be a pretty easy ride. It's pretty short, I'm going to tell you that much. I know I went through this in like... The snap of the fingers. Not bad. It's been too long since I had such a worthy opponent. Still living a life of crime, eh, Shiva? You're working with the Y Syndicate now? Those spoiled brats? No, I don't like their methods. What is going on? What do you know? Well, since they lost their father, Mr. X, the twins have been obsessed with controlling others. They developed a machine to control people's minds through sound waves. Those speakers in the sewers! Yes, they've planted devices all over the city. And they're planning to broadcast their mind-controlling music. When? Ask them yourself. They're hiding in plain sight. And there's just a Y-shaped building there. Thank you, Shiva. Until we meet again, brother. Yeah, Shiva was a good dude. Like, he gave up his mercenary life. He's now, like, reformed, sort of, kind of. We gotta catch a train to the Y-building. Holy shit, you guys. And this is the only way to catch a train in Wood Oak City. So let's party. So amazing, I didn't even think about this in my first playthrough, but really good environmental storytelling. There totally were speakers in the sewer. Kind of, uh... We gotta avoid those, of course we do. Oh no, the fuzz! Sorry, fellas. Man, these are tough cops. I would not be okay after taking a sign like that. Ow! Yeah! There we go. Boom! Huh. Barely dodged that one. Alright, that's the cops done. Ooh, this isn't my stop yet. Oh shit, why syndicate guys? Why goons? It's time for another old fracas. I saw him set up for that slide kick. Creep. Head scissor takedown. Boom. So yeah, good environmental storytelling there. Like, good stuff. And also cool that, you know, fan favorite Shiva has like reformed like that. He isn't a playable character himself, but his old incarnation from SOR3 is among the uh, secret characters that I've uh, yet to unlock myself, but... Oh yeah, here's a Barney with those goddamn tasers. Gonna have to deal with that. You boys getting a little intimate there? Not on my watch. Oh, I meant to toss that. Oh, he got me. Oh, but I escaped. Damn. Why building, please? <laughs> hey. Oh shit, roll right into this move. Have I mentioned I hate these guys? Well. He met his weakness. Sign. Jesus. Okay, I got clobbered that time. I had to grapple him. He, he would grapple me if I didn't play my cards carefully. Oh, he almost... Okay, he, in fact, did get me. Damn. Yeah, this level's gonna be easy. Don't you worry a thing, guys. <laughs> Shit. Damn, I, like, blitzed over this. That's maybe the coolest thing I've done this game. Oh, shit. Here we go again. It's the rematch you've all been looking for. Grenade? Yes, so... No longer, she no longer calls in mortar fire, but she now chucks grenades while she styles on us. Wow, I like got her stuck in the corner. Poor, poor thing. Let's back off. That's no fun. You can totally grab these and chuck them back, except I just flopped it. But yes, you can grab uh, grenades and send them right back into her if you want to play it cool. Ooh, she was about to. Give me that. Backup requested. Who are you gonna call it? The Commissioner! Oh no! This is why I love this fight, even though it's so hard. The freaking 
Estelle and the Commissioner teaming up together. And he's still as hard as he ever was. It's nuts. This is such a nutso fight. I love it. Ugh. Face the music, Kamish. Ow! Oh, boy, I almost got that grenade. I don't know if you get a reward for beating the commissioner. You only need to beat Estelle. Woo! Oh man, the grenade got me. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Take that, Kamish. Oh man, that ground pounder. Enjoy that. She was gonna grapple me. Let's give this one another go. Wow, I still avoided it. The commissioner's gonna go down. Damn. He comboed the crap out of me. Should I beat the commissioner? Wow, I, it's not a question of should. I would. That's crazy. When I first played this, I did the. I just beat the still because, yeah. Oh my god! The styling I just did. No, you don't! Duh! Oh man, that Sambo kick. I don't think it's a Sambo kick. I still don't know what that kick's called. Oh, oh Jesus! Booyah! Right in the jaw! Good shit. That's a really cool boss fight. Pretty simple now that I think about it, but chucking grenades is fun. The fact that the commissioner makes a cameo returning, that's super fun. And you know what the crazy thing is that I read happens if you play this on harder difficulties? The commissioner shows up, and his twin brother shows up. There are two commissioners running around helping out Distill if you play this on the harder difficulties. I can't imagine the kind of chaos that is. I mean, it sounds fun, but it sounds way too tough for me. Let's not care around. All right, here we go again with the big man Floyd. These guns are ready. How are you? Listen here, officer. Can't you see what's happening? You. The syndicate has been corrupting the city and the police. They want to take control of the population. That's not possible. What you're saying is... <laughs> At last, I've found you. Holy shit. Now, shoot them. He's got a Murphy on his side. What are you doing? There are civilians on this train. An order? I don't take orders from anyone. Die. So there you get the clue that some of the police are in fact in the Y-Twins payroll because there was a police on that chopper and Estelle tried to... Estelle tried to stop... Uh, stop the police to no avail because they don't actually uh, respect her. They only respect those white twin, twin creeps. Ow. That was an awful beginning to this level. Come here, lady. So this is Victoria. This is quite an annoying enemy type. She's this cool kind of anarchist lady. Her and her other ilk are all about staying away from you and chucking bombs at you, which... Maybe playing as Floyd is a bad idea because they just love to play keep away and chuck bombs at you. You're gonna see different types who have different types of weapons, so... Hey, that's not a real chicken! This thing's made out of gold! Okay, great, though. So yeah, this is actually an object you use to toss at enemies. <laughs> it's not a, uh, not a, not a consumable, don't get fooled by it. I guess these aren't the uh, police, these are just museum security guards. We're in an art museum, if you guys couldn't tell. It's an art gallery. <laughs> Lou, I'm just trying to get my pension, my 401k taken care of. I don't want to deal with this, but I guess I gotta. That's the maybe most annoying thing about the Victorias, that they drop a bomb when they uh, KO. Man, annoying! Oh, my God. Get over here. Oh, get over here. Oh, no. See, here we have a poison... Uh, poison Victoria. I don't remember what they're called. Damn. 
She good. I'm gonna need some health. Okay. All right, that was maybe a little overkill. Yes, leave some poison for your compatriots there. Nice. All right, cool. You can stand there if you like. Give me that apple. Nice, big health. All right, I'm starting to get the grapple of Floyd a little better, I guess. You just boogie on on that poison, why don't you? Okay, he's out of there. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Yeah, this level is kind of crazy. Yeah, as you can see, being a uh, art gallery. Holy shit, grenade anarchists. Oh, they avoided my... That's annoying. That's annoying. But... Damn, I'm really... Let's, let's, let's shepherd you all into the corner. Oh, Margaret is what they're called. No, you don't. Wow, how did I catch that guy? He was trying to grapple me. Oh, well, I'm not complaining. Ew. Give me that. Oh, wow. I, I totally forgot you can, like, catch stuff from enemies in this game. Boom. Oh, my God. Oh, oi, yo, yo. You with the grenades. Oi, with the grenades. Yeah, stand on that, why don't you? Whew. Not doing super, I have to say. I've said several times. <laughs> Floyd's fun to play as, but you have to really feel that grappling and stuff. You have to be good with that shit. Thankfully, this level doesn't have any bottomless pits, unlike the first time we played as Floyd, so... Don't have to worry about getting chucked into those as we mess around. Oof, okay. You know what? Fine, I'll take it. Don't you worry, ma'am. We're with the good guys. <laughs> I know that... I know the scary cop lady is against us, but still, we're, we're the good guys, don't you worry. Shipping to Paris? Oh, because they're French developers, that's kind of cute. I don't know what that is. Big purple... Chess piece, maybe? I don't know what that is. Big purple goomble boomble. Ah, hell, that's what I was looking for. Oh man, are we already at the boss? I guess we are. This is quite a short level, just like the train. Okay, so it's Bayo and Riha, which I do believe is supposed to be Beyonce and Rihanna. There's a reference there. So guess what? Super long-range characters were fighting as a uh, Floyd. Great. I'll do my best. They're, um, kind of like, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see what they're based on. It's the first boss. I forget her name, this Electric Snake Lady. These madams, however, are about fire and uh, poison. Which, only the poison is the <laughs> only a realistic snake one, even though boa constrictors definitely don't fit that bill, but uh, still. Uh-oh, I beat up Bayo enough. They're, well, I guess I beat both of them up enough, they're now both m m m mad Damn, I thought I had, was off the... Oy! I wish I could, like, do both of these, you know, do Floyd's double grapple, catch them both, but they're... They're pretty good at the keep away, so... Damn, I used my jump special. I don't think I've ever used that with Floyd. No, I got you! She was trying to grapple me. <laughs> That's amazing. Floyd's special grapple cancels the enemy grapple? I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Doesn't grab, uh, doesn't cancel flamethrower though, so. Oh damn, it didn't stop. Wow. Huh, okay, fine. That's how we want to play this, Rihanna? I got this. Damn, I thought I was away from that. Come here! 
I think that is the AI playing it smart, though, because she's hanging out in the flames. She, of course, is immune to her own flames. Ow. Oh, the, oh shit, I saw that coming. I'm gonna... Not doing great in this fight, I'll admit. Although I could do this. Yeah. Okay, cool. No, no extra lives as I do this. That's unfortunate. Of course I got greedy at the end there. You saw me. I decided to punch her even though I know that they have wake-up immunity. Mm. Was not thinking it straight. Hey, that's a painting with a uh, Rue on it. That's kind of fun. The little boxing kangaroo in the background. That's cute. Man, we are blazing it through this uh, through this game, because I thought we'd be doing these four levels again, but we still got time to start the next level. Good stuff. So, oh, uh, yeah, actually, when I played this previously, I actually played Adam at last in this level. Then I went Axel, Blaze... No, I think I played Axel, then Cherry, then Cherry again, I think is what I played, because I, I thought I was at the end of the game, I wanted to play as Cherry. But there was one more level, so I ended up playing Cherry again, because she's just that cool. This time, I want to actually do this in backwards order. First, we're going to play... So I've been doing Axel, Blaze, Cherry, Floyd. We're going to go this time Floyd, Cherry, Blaze, Axel for the last four levels. Because I think the, fir the boss fights for Floyd and Cherry are going to be super cool and thematic. And these ones are going to be cool too. And Axel will end up as the de facto face of the, face of the party. He will end up doing the final battle. I have to admit, I since I'm so bad at playing as Axel, I it might be that good old Uncle Adam here is gonna have to step in and save us in the final battle once I game over as Axel. But hey, let's not despair. In fact, Adam might have to step in here because level nine that we're getting into. I got ooh, in oh boy. gonna bust in through the art gallery because it turns out Y Tower is right next to the art gallery. Lucky. So yeah, this level, it's, I think it's a little easier than level five, but this is, this was the other level that I got really stuck on and I was playing as Adam, so you know I was in trouble. That said, this is my favorite level of the game. This is an amazing level. I don't mind at all having to redo this level. First, we start in the, uh, company spa of uh, the Y Tower. And I don't know if you noticed, but the ground is a little bit slippery. So well, actually it's hard to notice with uh, Floyd because uh, he uh, he uh, is so slow. But yeah, you kind of slip on the ground. You don't stay still. You don't stop when you slip around here. So that's like a little gimmick here. Uh, it's not the craziest thing in the world. It's kind of fun. Honestly, just being in, a, being in a Turkish sauna in general just is fun, I think. Just kind of silly. Silly good time. Maybe I should have saved that. I don't know. Come here. Wait, does... Wait a second. Hold on. Does... Oh, interesting. Yeah, of course. Floyd does not flip. I tried to uh, flip there, but... Uh, instead, Floyd just jumps when he... Uh... Oh, he can ground pound, guys, when you jump in the air and hit it. Okay, cool. I never tried that before. Good that we learned that. Yeah, of course he can't flip over a guy. Look at the size of him. Well, I mean, okay, he could, I'm sure, but he chooses not to. Let's grab this uh, brush here and clean up the trash. Aw, oh, man, have I hit even once today with that? Oh, interesting. I didn't know there was a grapple special that Floyd has. Man, this guy just has all these tricks he's surprising me with. Let's do that one more. Well, okay, these guys are gonna let me, so there we go. Land at the force field. Okay. Where's that squeaky shoot, man? There he is. Damn, Francis was coming for me. I could really use some health right about now, guys. Okay, fine. Money it is then. Oh, an apple. Someone left in the locker room. I'll just eat that. Thank you. Hey, you took my apple! Oh, shit. So... Damn. 100 hand slap there, E Honda. No, it's Dokuja. They're not as tough as Goro, actually. They're an easier version, but they do have the same difficulty as Goro, which is that they love to grab. Lo love to counter, sorry. And their Achilles heel is getting grappled, which means that uh, this should be a good time for Floyd here. Oh my god, they can block projectiles? You'll learn something new every day. 
All right. Oh man, here comes the sensei himself. And oh shit, it's Pheasant, he's back too. I forgot this fight as well. Why do I keep forgetting Pheasant? He's such a cool dude. Boom. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Feels good. Also, by the way, another thing that I love this level for, if you've noticed, the freaking beat in this level is great. This is my favorite song in the game. Maybe, I don't know, it's, it's, it's in the top five at least. Olivier de Riviere got crazy in this level, and we haven't even hit the best part. I'm gonna call it out when we get there, so get ready, fellas. Oh yeah, now we get to the, maybe the toughest part for Floyd, I just realized. Holy shit, guys with guns. We have to fight guys who fight at range with Floyd? Oh no. Fortunately, they don't have a lot of health. As you may have noticed. So, they're pretty easy to put down, gold and silver. I need that. Boom. There we go. This background here, by the way, is from the... I think the intro of Street of Rage 1, I do believe. This picture right here of Mr. X looming over the city. And I mentioned the music. Listen carefully as we get uh, get into this elevator. Listen to what happens. Because this is the classic... This is the classic from every Streets of Rage. is a sequence in an elevator where mooks descend on you. And listen as the music swells. I'm gonna be quiet for a bit. Oh man. Just so heroic. Like, this is... This is empowering. This is what this is. I felt so... Like, this song is called Rising Up. I mean, that's what you're doing in this elevator. And oh my god, is that what I feel like doing this part of the game. It feels so fantastic. Oh, you played well. Red Signal. It feels so fantastic. And now... Got a couple of Goros to deal with, and we bust out into the city. And this music is just going wild as... As, uh, freaking... The, the, the cityscape rises above us, like we are literally rising up. It is so glorious. I, this is so incredible. This feels amazing, this part of the game. Like, no joke, I was like, oh my god, when I got to this part of the game. There you go. Yeah, you can bust the window open and just clear out the house. Ow! Lost a life. Okay, no biggie, no biggie. I got this. Why didn't I toss that? There you go. Eat it. Didn't bust the other window. That's fine. Now I busted it. Oh man, I could have grappled both of those big guys. Just chucked them out. Oh yeah, Floyd is actually fantastic for this elevator segment. Just toss dudes out. And then it's over so soon. So fantastic. And... <gasps> Max? Is that you? You're not looking too good, buddy. So guess what? Max, he was a playable character in Streets of Rage 2. He's the big guy in that one. He is a wrestler through and through. So this is Grappler versus Grappler. Let's part A. Did he just say fuck off? That's not nice, Max. He really is mind controlled. Also, check out the Y twins in the background just hanging out. That's so cool. We're like in their lounge. We came into their center, the heart of their operation. Ow! Sad thing is he doesn't go Gurya when he jumps, which is what he would do in the original. That's a little that's too bad, honestly, but oh well. Yeah, those of you noticed, he cannot be like like stun locked. He just uh, damn. You have to mash like crazy to avoid that one. He just takes everything. Ah. Oh, 
Oh shit, I, I forget what happens in phase two. Oh right, he just does this hammer blows once he's done jumping and he does those crazy swings. Oh, he's gonna come for a grapple. Ah! I don't know how to avoid that, I'm sorry. I lost a life, oh jeez, oh jeez! Oh my god, he does those so many in a row now. Alright, so you just have to jump attack him to cancel that, uh, I guess. Oh, oh my god, he spins back and forth. You spin me round round, Max. Oh, here he comes with a jump. Oh, yeah, good, cancel it, but I'm gonna get swinged. Wow, I avoided that. Nice. So it's just two huge guys fighting. That's why I thought this would be fun to do, uh, Floyd versus Max. Wow, we beat the level on the first try with Floyd. I did not think I'd pull that off. That's great. I dig that. Good gerb, everybody. Yeah, I didn't get to talk too much about how fun that level was with all those dudes in the background. I got a B even! You kidding me? Crazy. That's satisfying. Uh, yeah, Max is, of course, because all those old characters except Rue are available as, as unlockable characters. You get to play a Streets of Rage 2 Max if you really want to. I really hope he goes Woodya! when he jumps, because this, this boss version, he was very, very hypnotized. He did not feel like gorya at all at me. Oh well, still a good fight. I like that. Good stuff. Man. Wish I could take a boss without losing one life today, but I failed. Maybe next time, because we're gonna have to call it for here, but let's see the opening for the next, uh, next episode. Next level, at least. Okay. Only three left levels. We'll see how it goes next time. Max, are you okay? I... that music. I couldn't control myself. I swear I didn't want to hurt you. You filthy. Who is that? Don't mess with me. I am Ms. Y, daughter of the great Mr. X, heir to the Empire, and queen to you scum. Yeah, right. You will obey me. Brother, activate the device. It's Dumpstep! Yes! With the save! What? You can't do this! The police answer to me, and you'll- Oh, that's still her. Not anymore, lady. I've seen what you and your brother are capable of. In the name of Wood Oak City, you're under arrest. Sister, we have to leave. We still have a concert to attend. It doesn't matter. Soon you'll all be eating out of our hands. A concert? Of course! DJ K. Washi is playing tonight! That show will be broadcast all over the city! They're gonna use his music to enslave everyone! Quick! We have to stop it! Which means, you guys... Oh, right. You go on. I'll clean up here. Thanks, officer. Call me Estelle. God damn it! That's the thing I want most in this game! Looks like we're gonna have to jump! The thing I'd want most in this game is Estelle as playable, but she isn't playable. But she's super popular online when you read people's comments, Estelle is. I'm, I'm like almost 100% sure that there's gonna be either DLC for this game, where Estelle is playable, or if Streets of Rage 5 ever happens with Lizard Cube and Guard Crush, Estelle is super gonna be playable there. There's, I have no doubt in my mind. She's that popular, and she's already got that playable character strut going on as well with her move set. So I really look forward to that myself. I'm not, I'm not gonna poo-poo the guys for not having her be playable. I get that constraints and all that, but boy, why would I liked her to be playable? <laughs> anyway, yeah, the freaking game is now afoot. We just got a boogie on, beat the Y-Twins. I like that uh, the devious Ms. Y was introduced a little later. She's she's a little bit more uh, driven than the lackadaisical Mr. Y. We're going to clean up both of their clocks next time, so look forward to the rip-roaring finale. Oh yeah, it's going to happen next time. I promise you. See you all then, guys. Goodbye!